Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing our Thursday daily reading. Let's see what messages are coming through for you guys. This is good for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is timeless. All of my readings are. But I do do this, you know, daily schedule too. So take it as you desire. Take what resonates with you. Leave the rest as always. And if you feel inclined to join here, the Pisces Club, a community of lovely, lovely fishies, powerful fishies, um, you can do so by clicking on that subscribe button. All right, messages for Pisces. Ace of Swords, beautiful. This talks about perhaps a conversation, a clarity, and a ha moment. A moment in which the mental fog is eliminated and sort of like everything is put on the table to be analyzed, strategized. Definitely a powerful moment that comes through communication probably. Page of Pentacles as your challenge. This could be a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus person. This could be someone who is perhaps very stable, introverted, kind of shy, you know. This could be someone who's presenting a challenge for you in one way or another. Or you may be experiencing challenges in regards to the seeds that you have planted in the physical realm and how they are going to be evolving. Six of Cups in the recent past. You might have been connecting with someone from the past, Pisces. This could have been a soulmate energy, someone from your childhood, teenage years, early adulthood. This could be someone that you actually are connected from past lives. Recently, you may have had a lot of nostalgia, romanticizing of the past, um, beautifying the past in a way. And now I think that you're coming into the clarity of what from your past you're supposed to take with you and whatnot. In your mind space, you've got the Nine of Wands, Pisces. So you may have been making an effort recently to keep going in regards to a certain situation. You may have been sort of like really challenged to persevere, to continue to put effort in, devote yourself to a certain cause. Even though you may feel tired at times, even though you may feel burdened, even though you may feel even wounded, okay? So you could be thinking about how difficult it all is, but at the same time, being very clear that you're not going to give up on something that is important for you. Hope, I'm sorry, not hopes and fears. In the near future, the Two of Cups. So if this is romantic Pisces, there seems to be an important clarity and conversation that leads to commitment. Um, this could be from, you know, with someone from your past. And it could be happening because you're you're refusing to pretty much take no for an answer. It's like you're devoting yourself to building something, building a relationship, a connection. In the near future, you are presented here connecting truthfully, intimately, beautifully with someone who loves you right and who you love right. What the universe wants you to know. Eight of Cups. There are some things here, some expectations, some aspects that you could benefit from letting go. And I think that your person is also letting go of something or someone. They could be letting go perhaps of an earth sign. Taurus, um, I was going to say the earth signs, but what came to my mind was Taurus, Libra, Aquarius. But it could also be a Capricorn or a Virgo, of course. Your energy, Seven of Pentacles. So right now, Pisces, it seems as though you are trying to be patient. You know, understanding that relationships take time. 
connections take energy, take devotion and love and taking care of. And you may see that right now things are starting to align in the way that you want them to, in the way that honors your efforts. It may not be all the way grown yet, it may not be all the way developed yet, as you want it to be in the future, but it is definitely showing some beautiful results here for you, okay? Maybe results that come from a clarity, a conversation, and an acknowledgement of true love here. There's true love here, Pisces. Wheel of Fortune in your environment. Yeah, there's higher forces here at play than just your desire or theirs. There is the sense of destiny, the sense of faith, of, of sort of divine union here that is orchestrating all of these things for you to develop this connection in an open heart. Some of you guys have fear of intimacy. It seems like it's going to be released or healed or at least paid attention to so it can improve. You have hopes and fears here, the fool. You want to start something beautiful, you know, you want to start and really experience the full extent of this new beginning, this excitement, this joy, inspiration. And maybe you feel so drawn to it all that it's very easy for you to close your eyes and not see the potential issues that could appear and instead just be blinded by the romance, blinded by the love. So it's like you want to enjoy that energy, you want to enjoy that wave of super delicious energy, right? <laughs> of excitement and joy and inspiration for what could be. But maybe there's a part of you that's like, well, I shouldn't be um, riding this wave and forgetting that relationships take work, you know? You want to stay grounded pretty much. King of Wands, you could be manifesting an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person in your life who's very loving, very, very passionate about you. This person sees you and they want to claim you, Pisces. They want you. They're like, you're mine. Like, I want you to be mine. And it seems like you feel the same way. Passion unites you, Pisces. Seems like uh, the sexual connection could be really good. I feel like this person expresses their love for you. Maybe not as much in words, but in the sexual act. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't feel like sex. It feels like making love to you. And the way they see you, the way they kiss you, the way they devote themselves to you is how they feel. Like, they can really freely and authentically show you how they feel about you, show you the love. So this person maybe seems overly sexual. They seem um, perhaps, um, <laughs> you know, they want to go at it all the time. And you may feel in a way that it's like, this, is this person just, you know, wanting me because of the sex? You know what I mean? Like, is this just a sexual connection? Hell no, Pisces. Hell no. It's just that this person struggles with their emotions and they str struggle specifically with expressing their emotions. But in bed, it seems like they really surrender to the love. They feel it, they enjoy it, they identify it, and they give into it. So when they're looking for that intimacy with you, Pisces, what they want to do is actually express their love. In the only way that it seems like they know how, at least right now, you know, Got the strength. This could definitely be a Leo. You have the strength, you have the endurance, the perseverance to really get grounded in this connection and you know develop this sense of commitment that can even get to a more, you know, kind of like a long-term connection, marriage, stuff like that. Some of you guys are gonna be renewing your vows um, to a Leo, maybe, if that resonates with you. But I feel like you are developing this very powerful ability to overcome the challenges. Maybe at some point, Pisces, you encountered a big blockage in relationships and chose to run away. 
And now it's like you're developing that awareness and that ability to communicate, to connect, to be emotionally intimate. Not only physically intimate, doesn't seem like you guys have a problem there at all. <laughs> For whoever this is resonating with. Ace of Wands, yeah, there's tons of passion here, like, and it will continue to evolve is what I'm hearing, like, um, it's going to continue to get better and better as you guys get to know each other's desires and bodies and, you know, careful with fertility though, if you don't want children, take the proper measures. Eight of Pentacles, it seems as though you're going to reach a sense of groundedness with this person and which maybe you're gonna have the talk or something or a talk if you're if it's about children it's about children if it's about um, maybe you're dating and you want to see where where it's all going then it's about that but it seems like you're gonna have this important conversation and all of the feelings that have been stored deep inside of both of you are gonna come out to the surface and you're gonna be on the same page and it feels like some of you are going to be able to get back to work, um, literally, your job and stuff. Maybe you've been distracted by this lack of clarity. And it seems like both of you are willing to put in the work, in the relationship, and in the connection. We have two, three, eight, number eight cards. Eight is a number of, for me, tons of abundance. Prosperity, financial prosperity, growth, evolution, enjoyment, infinity, and spiritual connection. Knight of Cups. Yeah, there's a big offer of love here, Pisces. This See, you know, this person, they feel romance towards you. He has, this is like a warrior, right? He's the Knight of Cups. The cup that he's offering to you is filled with fire. So it's like a very passionate, even sexual um, proposal. But he is holding on to very beautiful flowers here. So there is romance as well. But what comes first seems to be passion, which is interesting. I do get a sense that this person shows their love through physical connection. No doubt about that. Maybe you even feel very loved when you're in bed with this person. Maybe you feel very connected you know this could be a person who really likes to connect and have like eye contact and kiss you softly and you know run their fingers through your hair and just like really dive deep into the emotional aspect of it all so whenever that happens you know they're pretty much telling you i love you you know just without words okay so yes, my loves, this was beautiful. I love this reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. We have the Knight of Wands as well. Definitely fire energy here. Um, thank you for being here with me, you guys. Thank you for joining this daily reading. I hope that if this resonates with you, you get to subscribe here to the channel. I would love to continue to share more and more daily readings and the weekend marathons that I am posting every single weekend, which I do weekly love readings money readings stalker readings <laughs> you know a lot of other things which are interesting and not necessarily included in the dailies also personalized readings are available i am almost fully booked so it will require a little bit of patience all right so if you want one just <laughs> um make sure that you really really resonate with it because it may um, represent an investment of your time and money. I'm not going to lie to you. The price is not low. It's $250 for a 45-minute to 1 hour and 15-minute reading. You get to ask three specific questions, and we're going to go as deep as possible into each one of them. In total, we're going to be doing four spreads, so it's going to be deep. You know, it's going to be a big read. Um, and therefore, it may take some time for me to really connect to your energy. So that's the thing, you know, it is an investment. I would love to connect with you guys. Um, but honestly, part of the reason why it's a high price is because I don't want to get overbooked. I don't want to end up feeling pressured and, you know, disconnected from it all. I want to enjoy it and I want to really enjoy 
and honor the connection that I'm developing with, with each one of you guys. I want to get to know you, you know. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. If you would like one, it's going to take a while um, to get to you. It's going to take... Um, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Um, sometimes, if I'm in the right energy, I get to move through them very quickly. I have had the experience in which I, to I tell you like, well, you're gonna get the reading in a month. And then in three days, you get your reading. That can also happen. But I just sort of like structure it in a way with my assistant to make sure that I don't get drained and overburdened and end up, you know, becoming a mess. So it could be way sooner, you know. It could also be a little later than expected. So just keep that in mind. I know that you guys are Pisces. I know that you guys are completely aware of how time, energy, and all these things work. But still, it's always a good reminder for that, okay? Um, besides that, if you don't feel like that is for you, that's perfectly fine. I really actually prioritize the free content here in the channel. And I don't think that you're going to ever lack you know, the guidance or support or advice if you just subscribe and have all the free readings, you know. It works either way. So that is how I am here for you to support you. Online courses are available for you as well. If there's any kind of thing you particularly would like to learn that I can offer you, of course, and um, or heal, you can also do that. There's merch, which is really cool. There's a Pisces as fuck mug. That's nice. Um, I don't know, that's, that's all the things that I offer for you, so, you know, yeah, I love you guys, I love you to the moon and back, thank you for being here, thank you for being a part of my world, I'm very grateful to be a part of yours, bye guys!